<gasps> oh, then my alarm, my alarm, my alarm. Wow, wow, oh, wow, it's time to, I was taking a nap, and my alarm, my alarm, oh, I turned, okay, all right, whoa, okay, well, that was a good nap. You know what? I, I hope that you rested well last night. So, are you a, a morning person or an afternoon person? You know, in the last few videos, we've talked a bit about this, as we've talked about the phrases we often say in which we use the word good, like good morning or good afternoon. And we've talked about some specific times of the day and the greetings that we often offer each other during these times. Hey, good morning. Hey, good afternoon. Well, what other greetings are there that include the word good? Well, if you said good evening or good night, you are correct. So evening is from sunset until you go to bed or 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And night is when there is no sun and it is dark. So are you an evening person or a night person? Do you find that you can get more accomplished in the evening? Or maybe you are a night owl. Do you like to stay up late? Or are you able to stay up late at night? Well, back to the phrases of good evening or good night. Good evening can be used as a greeting. Well, hello there, good evening, or a farewell. See you later, good evening. Good night is usually only used as a farewell, like when you leave a place or when you say goodbye to someone or when someone goes to bed. Good night, see you later. And like good morning or good afternoon, um, these phrases are like a blessing or a well-wishing that we can offer to others. Do you say good night to others before you go to bed? Sometimes it's hard for some of us to stay awake in the evening and then we might even forget to wish each other a good night when we go to bed. You know, I'm thinking of some people in the Bible who fell asleep and who were not so helpful. Do you remember the story of Jesus' disciples on the night that Jesus was arrested? We find it in Matthew 26. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And he took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be sad and troubled. And then he said to them, My soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Please stay here and keep watch with me. Well, he went a little further, and then he fell with his face to the ground, and he prayed, My father, if it is possible, please take this cup of suffering away from me. But... Let what you be done, not what I want. And then he returned to his disciples and he found them sleeping. And couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour, he said. And then Jesus went away a second time and he prayed to God the Father again. And then he came back and again he found them sleeping. They couldn't keep their eyes open. So he left them and went away once more. And for the third time he prayed the same thing. And then he returned to the disciples and he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to the sinners. Now, the disciples didn't really understand what was happening. And I'm sure that they were so used to sleeping at that time of the night that it was hard for them to stay awake. We get used to our patterns of rest. Night is a good time to rest, a good time to get some good sleep. I hope that you sleep well at night, and I hope that you can offer a blessing to others by wishing them a good evening or a good night. Now, you may not be ready for bed right now, or if you're watching this later in the evening, maybe you are. So I will just wish you a good day or a good afternoon, or a good evening, or a good night. Depends on whatever time of the day you're listening or watching this video is what the greeting would be for you. But I do also wish you a day that's filled with joy and a day that's filled with peace.